Look at that. It's leaking really bad. What's up guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So this week I'm going to dye my hair again because if you remember or if you watched my last hair dye video from one month ago, I honestly wasn't that satisfied with the color that came out to be and this is how it looks now. I bought this time 6AO Ash Olive. Apparently some people say if you dye it, the first couple of days or like the first couple of washes, it's gonna be like close to black hair. And I kind of want to do like dark hair again so hopefully this is going to work and this one is like there's like a green tint which some people are also saying i'm not really good with the color wheel so some people also say like if you have like reddish color in your hair the green is going to help like neutralize it so that's kind of what i'm kind of hoping for because i don't like the redness that's kind of in my hair right now which is the reason why i want to get rid of it anyways i'm gonna go ahead and change out of this shirt because this does tend to leak on me i'm gonna put on Again, that same t-shirt I keep dyeing my hair with. But before that, this is how like my hair looks right now. Hold on, let me just take it off. Um, this is how the color looks right now. It looks really dark in the photo, I mean in the camera. <laughs> but it's a little lighter than it is. And it's a little redder. It's like reddish or like orangey. There's like an orangeness to it. But if you like look at it strand by strand, it looks a little more like yellow orange. So... That's how it looks right now. And my hair is a little bit oily, which I kind of did on purpose every time before I dye my hair. So we'll see how the other color turns out. Now I will meet you in the bathroom. Well, okay, that sounds wrong. Okay, that does not sound right, but you know what I mean. I'll meet you where I dye my hair, which is in the bathroom on the floor. All right, so now I'm in the bathroom sitting on the floor. This is the olive. And this is what it says it's gonna turn out. So my hair is really close to this color right here. This one on top. So technically it should turn out kind of like dark ash with a hint of green afterwards. But um, I think Allie said that people told her that the longer you leave it on, the darker it's gonna be. So today I'm actually gonna leave it on for maybe 45 minutes instead of 30 minutes because I kind of want it to be a little darker. That's like my goal, but I also didn't want like full black hair which is the reason why i decided not to go with dark ash also because actually i've done dark ash before i just didn't film it and well my hair was a little different back then but it didn't look great but it also didn't look bad so i want to try something like close to black more natural so okay so anyways for those of you who's never used anyway so for those of you who's never used hello bubble before um, this one is the Hello Bubble Foam Dye. They also have a cream dye, but I usually use the foam dye. And what comes in the box is basically number one, number two, and number three. And this is number one. This one's the hair color, number one, which goes into number two. And there's number three. This is, uh, it's kind of like an oil thing, which is like, so it makes your hair like not as dry. And then there's the pump. And then the last thing that's in here is basically a manual and a pair of gloves that I don't like using, which reminds me, I have to go get my own gloves. And a cape that you put over your shoulders. Again, I use it on the floor. So yeah, I don't use things for their purpose. Okay, so I got my gloves. These are the gloves that actually won't fall off of me. And I think we're just gonna go ahead and get started now. Um, I hate the waiting period because it leaks and I keep having to wipe it. So these are the gloves that look at this this is not my hand size like literally so much bigger so this is the cave that i put on the floor anyways this is number two this is the developer i think basically just squeeze all of that in and then this is the number two which is the hair color itself it's gonna go in y'all and then we shake it well don't shake it but like do this now hopefully I bought the right color. If I don't like it, then I think next week I'm going to dye it black. Like, I don't care at that point. Like, I'm so done. All right, I'm ready, I'm ready. This is the new version. I don't know if you guys like have used the old version, but the new version is slightly a little more liquidy compared to the old version. But the colors come out a little nicer than the old version. 
Look at the bubbles. They're no longer orangey and they're actually like brownish now with the hint of ash. Literally, it's already all over my hair, but I still have quite a lot left. So I'm just going to splat everything onto my hair. It doesn't take that long to do this. It's very quick and easy. I would recommend it if you um, are okay with whatever outcome it comes out to be because I'm gonna tell you this is great hair dye for like temporary, you know, and it's easy. You can do it yourself. The only problem is every time you use this hair dye, it's think about it like you're opening a like a blind box or a blind bag or something because every single time you do it, it's gonna turn out different depending on what color you have and depending on I don't know because I feel like I've seen a lot of different results from people using the exact same color. I don't know. It's kind of like results are kind of all over the place. So use this if you're okay with whatever color comes out. But usually it's not bad as long as you find like the right color. The last time the reason why I didn't really like it is because now it's faded into kind of like a warm undertone and I don't like the warm undertone. But anyways, I'm gonna go wrap my hair up. All right, so I covered it up with a trash bag and I also put a, like I put together two pieces of paper towel to put over my neck to catch some of that leak. I don't know how much it's gonna leak on my face. Last time it did pretty bad. Uh, hopefully this time it won't. It might leak from the side like here, but hopefully the top is not going to leak that much But I have like a little bit here. We'll see how it turns out in 45 minutes And I'm just gonna sit in the bathroom because I don't want this leaking all over the couch and stuff This is gonna be the worst 45 minutes of my life. Well of today Okay, so now it has been 45 minutes and I'm telling you I've leaked a lot I just keep wiping it off and the back Look at that it's leaking really bad for me. So I don't know why it leaks so much for me, but I'm gonna go ahead and wash this. Yo, my hair looks black now. It really does look black, but not like fully black. It kind of tinted my skin a little bit and I can't quite wash it off. I'll wash it off later. This, I'm not gonna lie, Loki turned out to be the exact color that I wanted. Like, I'm not even kidding. Okay, obviously in here, for some reason, it's like a little red tinted, but it's not red tinted. I'm gonna see if I can see it better outside. Okay, now you can see it in here. Hold on, let me put this down. You can see it in here in this lighting. This is natural lighting inside, and it looks black right now. If I come under a light, it's actually brown and this is literally the exact color that I wanted like it's it's almost like I don't know some people call it kind of like a black tea ash color and so it looks like black but it's also like brown so it's like dark but it's not natural black hair color I don't I don't know it's hard to explain but um there's a hint of like yellow green ash and I think it looks really good and I cannot believe that literally just gave me the hair color that I wanted it was a lot of leaking, but it's okay because this is like, this is the best I've had. Like seriously, the most satisfied I had with my hair. I'm super happy with the results and I don't know what else to say. It's just really, really nice and I really like it. So if you guys want to go for like a more natural dark hair color, but you don't want like full on black hair and you don't want like a very obvious brown and you want like a very subtle, like dark brownish, blackish, grayish, kind of color, I would say 6AO Ash Olive from Hello Bubble is really the way to go because it turned out really nice for me. But I have to say it is different for everyone and it also depends on your base color as well. But I think for this one, a lot of people tested it on like different like hair and if it's like dark, it'll be dark. If it's, if you bleached it really light, it'll still turn out dark. Um, so I'll just see how it fades, but I think this is my new go-to color. So this is my new safe color. And I hope this video has been useful for some of you who are wanting to maybe try this color out or try Hello Bubble in general. Um, just know that Hello Bubble colors, it's almost like opening blind boxes or blind bags. It's going to turn out different. Usually it doesn't look like the color on the box, but it always turns out some sort of a nice color. And depending on the color, sometimes it looks nice right after and sometimes it looks nicer after it starts fading. So just keep a note of that. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to drop a like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you next week. Bye!